so <clears throat> let's see um today is october 8th 2020 i haven't posted in a long time um life it's 2020 life it's it's a lot to take in where i am in um world history right now, or national history. I, I live in the U.S. Um, we're in the middle of the presidential election. The vice presidential debate was just last night. That was a little bit more civil than the presidential debate. The presidential debate was basically, looked like two five-year-olds yelling at each other and the teacher couldn't stop them from yelling at each other. Um, so our incumbent is infected with coronavirus. And, um, telling everybody not to worry because he has it and look he's getting better but the thing is he's being given medical care that isn't get it that that most Americans don't have access to and and um, medications and drug cocktails that most Americans don't have access to I mean if it helps if it if it's making him better great find a way to get that out to the masses um, <clears throat> but I still think that um, nothing Nothing's better than just being careful and trying to make sure you don't spread it. Um, so that's actually not what I was um, making a post about. Um, last night, my cat, Tabby, died. It's okay. She was, um, she was almost 15 years old. So, I mean, you know, I think she just died of old age. But it's hard. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have my family take her out and put her to rest because I have to go to work. Um, I took a personal day when my um, first cat, Grayson, died four years ago, but that was a very traumatic event. Um, he was in a lot of pain. His back legs weren't working. It, it was all very sudden, and the vet euthanized him right in my arms, and I was no good after that. But with Tabby, as sad as it is, because I've had her ever since she was five weeks old, I took her off the streets took her in because she was you know anyway um with her it happened the way unfortunate as as tragic as it is I mean it happened the way you would expect from an old pet <clears throat> you know that they're getting a little long in the tooth and then one one day you go to look for them because you haven't seen them in a while and you find them and they they fell asleep forever on the floor she was at peace but it's still hard because, you know, like, especially when you've had a pet their whole life, you think to that, you, you just, you, you're like, I'm, I'm glad that they lived a good, healthy, long life and that they were happy all the way till the end, but that was my kitten or that was my puppy, you know, you don't mind that they grow up, but why did they have to keep on growing until they grew old and die? Well, they just don't get as many trips around the sun as humans do. So that's what I'm dealing with today. But um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard when you lose a pet. You want you want it to go to happen this way. You want to get as many years as you can with them, and you want to just find them at peace one day. But nothing prepares you for when it does happen. And there's a lot going on at school right now because we're getting ready to bring kids back. And I'm kind of still a little bit afraid of the virus. I'm trying not to let it rule my life, but it rules the media. And it's hard to get away from it when you're connected 24-7. And there's really no way to unconnect when everything, you know, I work in a school, everything is online right now. But anyway, I'm getting ready to pull up to the front of my school, so I need to go. I just wanted to make a post today that has no moral, just it's hard when you lose a pet. It really is. Especially when you're already under a lot of stress. So I know this is going to sound hypocritical. But I'm going to leave you guys with my normal thing. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And stay as sane as you can. Alright, bye guys.